Hey, um, I'm here to introduce the, the macro modulator, which is a Max MSP patch I made for um, for the Lemur and, and Ableton Live. It's all about step sequencing um, or using step sequencing to to modulate the macros or whatever um, um, media assignable um, uh, parameters there are in Live. So let me just step through the basics here. All right. On each page, there are two macro modulators or two step sequencers um, with 16 steps, uh, step indicators, and uh, we have um, buttons for selecting what tempo we wanted to run in. We have a preset um, handling through um, yeah, storing presets, recalling presets, and then to set up the remote with Ableton Live, and also there's a, a slide time parameter which I'll show you later. On the Max patch itself, um, things you need to do, let's see if I can get a decent close-up, well, uh, you need to pick what um, MIDI port you want to use for sync, in my case it's the MIDI yoke uh, port 7, and you also want to pick what port you want to use for um, uh, for sending uh, the remote parameters out, and in my case it's MIDI yoke port 1. And then of course make sure um, that that the port for the jazz server is right and and uh, the IP for your computer is right. You set all this in the in the macro modulator max patch. It's a very simple set. I have one clip containing um, just a um, microtonic beat. Pretty basic four bars like that, nothing fancy at all, and this is what it sounds like all through, alright? Um, I've set up some macros, um, distortion for the kick, snare decay, uh, the, the cutoff frequency for the hats, and a filler cutoff for the whole group. Um, I also set up uh, own voice delay, um, and a couple of um, live devices for just uh, Beat repeat type of effect. Uh, the macro modulator on the lemur um, contains five almost identical pages like this. The only difference is this first page controls macro one and two. Then we have three and four. We have five and six and seven and eight. <clears throat> they're all they're identical, so you can assign up to mm, eight macros in live. On top of that, we have one page um, that controls um, eight LFOs. And that could that could go by sine curve, saw up, saw down, or random curve, <clears throat> uh, and at different tempos uh, as well. Um, there's a preset selector here. We have the different macros. Say I want to take uh, this first one, and um, LFO zero. It should be uh, saw down and over eight bars. And maybe the the next um, LFO, which is LFO one, should be a sine curve uh, synced to a quarter quarter note. All right. Um, I'll show you how that works later. So um, in live, uh, let's uh, media assign some of the the, um, the modulation sequencers to to some macros I've made up here. All right. First thing. Well. Get ready to, to media sign, then pick um, the, the first one, which will be like the kick distortion. Then you go to whatever Mac you want to assign it to, in my case, the first sequencer, and just press setup remote, like that. And then you see it's assigned in live like that. Um, if you want to do the same thing for the LFOs, just walk over to the LFO page. Um, in, in case of like the first ball, ball zero, or LFO zero, assign that to by clicking that button, and we want to have that to the to the hat frequency, like that, and it's assigned. And I'll just do this for some more interesting parameters, and then I'll just get back to you. 